Oh god, it's been a minute. I always this always happens. Oh wow, my microphone's a lot closer than it should be. This always happens when I don't play this game for a while. I always come back and I'm so disoriented. Y'all really blew the water out of one of the last videos I did of this. So I'm glad to see y'all are really enjoying it. It's relatively sim oh. It's relatively simple for me to record, you know, when I actually sit down and take the effort to do that. I'm beginning to realize I don't have an anvil mold. Oh, this is fire clay. Where's my blue clay? All the way back there. Okay. Here we are. This will be the last shameless plug I do of this of this video for uh, Arc Aberration, but 100 days in Arc Survival Evolved Aberration is done. It's on my channel. It'll be in the link in the description of this video, too. I worked real hard on it, so go check it out if you haven't already. This is the last you'll hear of it. I'm just really excited to get to move on to something else now. There we go. Okay. Thank God that's done. Uh, what can I get rid of? I guess I can move that at least for now. It is hissing rain out there. Okay, so to find more copper, here's what we're gonna need. So here comes the not so fun part of finding copper. We have a prospecting pick and we want node search mode. No, we want density. I'm dumb. You gotta get three samples in roughly the same distance from each other. I don't know the specifics exactly. This is why I'm not a tutorial channel. And then you can see here what we got. Alite, magnetite, cinnabar, sulfur, and anthracite. Is that right? What can I do with you? Doesn't seem like you can do anything with anthracite. Um, magnetite can be smelted into iron. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. That's really cool, actually. I've never gotten that far in this game, but one day. I always like to jump into these games when I know a little bit more about them. That way I don't Piss y'all off with me not knowing shit. And I can just get straight into the content. Oh, where is it? It's further up. This was the mystery, right? Like, this is where I found that, uh... Ooh, what are you... Are you just... Co Ooh, copper. Hey, look at that. I see, there's more copper right here. I didn't even have to use the prospecting pick for this, so we're gonna mine as much of this out as we can. Before we use the prospecting pick. I'm gonna take a few samples. Any minute now. Any second now. Oh my god, I'm stupid. There we go. Okay, so we don't have any copper. We have Galena which can be smelted into lead. We have... No, lignite does. Oh, that's coal. Okay. That's the most... Okay, so nickel is the closest we have to any real ore deposit in the area. 
even if we can't find copper around this area. Checking every copper deposit that I have found should give me enough copper to at least last a while with just basic ass copper tools. The native copper small amounts. Or medium amounts. There's small amounts of Galena. Oh, there's Galena. May as well mine it while I'm here, right? There we go, it was right there the whole time. God damn it. Wasted so much of that pickaxe. finding any copper around here so we're going to go ahead and go back around that way now mind you i'm still figuring the game out like there's a lot i don't know about it a lot of shit i don't know how to do but i like to think i know the general survival mechanics of it maybe i'll find some up there maybe i'll check that out eventually not right now though i always feel like recording is more daunting than it really is so weird. I struggle and struggle and struggle to get to the point where I'm recording, but when I finally sit down to record, it's just, oh, I'm just playing a game, having fun. Talking to myself alone in a room. Psychopath. Oh, look, more copper, right here. Just, just curious. more chromite. Finding hematite, which is interesting. I actually have a good bit of copper in here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and delete that. Okay, we're going to go run and check this copper deposit all the way back past the house now. Meteoric iron. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's actually really good. Hang on. Can I mine this with a copper pick? Is there going to be any? Is, my, is a better question, honestly. There wouldn't be. No, there's no... Meteoric iron. 
Okay, so there totally is. There totally should be some around here. It just won't be picked up by this, right? Deep this is the one thing I don't know. I've done no research into the meteoric iron pieces. I have no clue how far down or around this would be. I'm assuming pretty, pretty ways away. Pretty deep down. I'm assuming it's got to be quite a ways down. And now I'm curious to find it. I don't want to dig so far down I can't get out. Mark this on the map. Mark this with a giant friggin' dildo coming out of the ground. I'm curious. I'm gonna do a density search. Oh my hell. Ooh, native copper. Very poor. See, that's what we were looking for. That's what we're looking for. Ooh, and there's spherolite which is zinc, which we need. And casterite, which is very minuscule amounts, but what we're looking for is this right now, made of copper. Okay, so we're gonna go get, do, do, do. we're gonna get to that deposit that I found before. It's very poor right now, which isn't great, but all we're really worried about is the percentage. Let's zero in right underneath it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Decent spherolite, too, which is interesting, but we're very poor. Native copper. It's 4% when, before it was only one, so we're on the trail of it. Which is what we want. Probably gonna need to have that out. Okay, where's that next deposit? good ways away. Okay, for now, I think that's going to be it. For this episode, at least. We're on the trail. Next episode, we'll find a big old deposit of copper. You like the video? Comment, subscribe. Give me a like down in the, you know, in the like button. 
and meet me back here next Sunday. I'll have another episode out. Talk to y'all later.